Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a groove in your object. Again, remember that I'm using a generic model right here and you'll want to use the information from your design brief, but the process will be exactly the same. So the first thing you'll need to do if you haven't done so already is to click on sketch. And once you've clicked on sketch, you're going to click the drop down right here and you're going to select sketch again. And again, the panel right here tells you what you need to do. So you're going to select a plane or a face to draw on. So I'm going to select this plane right here. Again, it does not matter what plane you select. It could be on any plane on the object. And from there, you have a couple of different options. I'm going to do it with a line. You could also do it with a square or a rectangle if you wanted to. I'm going to use the line command, um, but you can do however you want. And I'm going to just draw uh, a line down here, and then I'm going to come across. And these blue lines let me know that it's parallel or perpendicular, so those are good things. And then I'm going to come back up to the edge right here. And once I have done that, then I need to dimension this object again. So I'm going to select Smart Dimension. Okay, select Smart Dimension, and then you're going to click on the line right here. There we go. And this length will be laid out for you. And so I'm going to make mine a half inch wide. And then I'm going to hit the check mark right here. And you also need to make sure that you dimension the height as well. So we're going to measure or uh, dimension rather the height right here. So we're going to come over here, and I'm going to make this uh, 0.25. And so now notice that I have this set. The next step is optional because you don't have to place this in any certain area of the cube. But if you would like to, you can choose Smart Dimension. And then what you can do is from one side or the other, it does not matter, you can select there, and then you can select the line on the edge, and you will have the ability to uh, move that one way or the other. So let's say I want this to be a half an inch from the edge. I can do that. And now it's going to move the entire groove over to that side. So now it's fully dimensioned. And then as always, I'm going to hit exit sketch. And from there, I am going to go back to features and I'm going to go uh, to extruded cut. And I am going to select here. And again, instead of choosing blind, I'm going to choose through all. And then now I have a groove that goes through everything. And there's my groove cut out of the object. So that's how you cut a groove in your object. If you have any questions, please let me know.